Hey guys, it's Kat. I've got another video for you. So last week we looked at how to get the best possible gear as a solo player, whether it was through questing or through buying mastercrafted gear, and how to then make that gear even better. So we looked at uh, experimenting with the mastercrafted and we looked at infusing for all the gear. Today we're going to look at reforging. So and then we're going to look at how to level your weapons. But reforging, if you played Destiny of Velios, the X-Pack, you probably got it included with that X-Pack for free. But if you weren't playing then, or if you started playing this game later, like me, then it's something that you actually have to purchase off the marketplace. So $10 US, 1000 DBC will give you the ability to reforge. And if you're wondering what is reforging and why do I want to do that? well. Have you ever looked at your stats? And if you're wondering, you know, which one of these have calves, which ones of them don't, if you go to the eq2.com website, it will actually give you, um, if you mouse over the stats, it'll give a little explanation and it'll tell you what the cap is and what the excess goes, if it goes anywhere. But some of your stats, like health, uh, your HP, your potency, just can go to the moon. And the more you have, the better off you are. But some of these, and I'm just going to look at stuff that kind of pertains to all classes. Um, I'm not going to focus on just stuff that's important for tanks or mages. Um, so I just want to give you guys a basic summary here. But just for an example, so reuse speed. The cap is 100. I have 150. Uh, wouldn't it be great if I could take those extra 50 points that aren't doing anything for me and aren't helping um, and put it in something that maybe I was a little low on? Like, say, my strike through, which should be 100%. Well, that is what reforging does, is reforging lets me move stats around. So if I go to this mender here, and we're in Maris Library in the service gallery, most of the menders in the newer expansions and zones will be menders and reforgers. So if I come over here and talk to him, you know, he gives me the regular option to repair, but the second tab here is reforge. So it's going to give me the option to reforge everything that hasn't already been. That's either my tune is wearing or is in my bags. So I want to narrow that down a little bit. I just want to look at this stuff that I'm wearing. So I'm going to click this little button here that says show equipped only. Okay, so that makes my list shorter. Now, if I pull this up here and I click the reforge, it's going to give me this other pop up. It's going to give me what all my stats on this item are. It's going to tell me what I can pull stats out of. It's going to give me a slider that's going to let me know how much I can pull out and how much it's going to affect what I can put those stats into. Now for this tune, I don't actually want to take stats out of any of these, so I'm going to leave this item unreforged. Okay? Uh, this is a tank, so block's important. Um, casting speed's important for everybody. The mobs in Heroics for CD, as well as for Pop last year, right? is they all have double cast avoidance buffs. So normally your double cast would need to be 100% to hit 100% 100 of the time. But they have this buff. So the T1 Heroics and CD, their buff is 44. So that means that my double cast would need to be 144 for that to hit like it should, for that to actually be 100% of the time I'm doing the double cast. Well, how does that relate to casting speed? excess casting speed goes in the double cast. So if you're looking at your tune and your double cast is low, um, you're not minimum 144. If you wanted to go back into pop zones, it would have to be 177. If you're anything below that, you definitely do not want to be taking out a casting speed. So my double cast here is 178. I'm good, but I definitely don't want to lower that any in case I want to go back and do zones and pop, or maybe the T2 heroics um, in CD, I haven't checked them yet, but their double cast avoidance might be even higher than the T1s. Okay, uh, nor do I want to take out any crit bonus, and for this tune, I definitely don't want to take out any DPS. So, I am going to cancel that. But what about this other gear? Can I find something else that I might want to reforge 
out of. Well, let me look at the shoes real quick. So it's giving me two options that I can reforge out of, ability mod and mitigation. So as a tank, you do need mitigation, but for everybody, you generally do not want to take out of mitigation. And I'll show you why, because even with the slider all the way over, I'm only going to get three. I'm only going to get four. I'm only going to get 27, or 27 for haste. I'm only going to get one for potency. So it's just the return for uh, reforging out of mitigation to basically any stat is so minuscule, it's really not worth doing. And that leaves me with my other option then, which is ability mod. So I, as much as I take out, again, it's a very small return. And ability mod is actually kind of important. It's something that I really don't want to reforge out of unless I absolutely have to. So unless there's some stat that I desperately need that I just can get nothing, no other way to reforge out of, um, I'm going to leave ability mod alone. Okay, so I will cancel that one too. Well, what about the hands? Oh look, it has haste. Now, haste is something that I guarantee you most of us are going to have way too much of. So my haste is 352. Do you guys know what the cap is? It's 200. So I have 150 more haste than I need. And all the excess for haste goes into flurry, which nobody has needed for several X packs at this point. So I can take out of haste and I can go put into my strike through. And strike through is really important. So you want your strike through everybody to be 100%. Now, what that does is it's how many times you're actually swinging and connecting with the mobs. So if you're taking 10 swings, but you're only hitting the mob six times, it's probably because your strike through is low. And you're asking, why is that so important? Um, am I really doing that much damage with my swings? Uh, you probably aren't, but you know what strike through does and hitting does is it affects how often your procs go off. And that is where a lot of your damage comes from. So you absolutely want your procs to hit 100% of the time. So you want your strike through to be 100%. Okay, so I want to go out of haste into strike through. And it looks like I need a little bit over 25% to do that. So I will move the little slider over here make sure I get to 25. And I will reforge. Okay, and as you can see, my strike through went from 75 to 100%. So I should be doing really well then, making sure all my hits land and that my procs hit as well. Okay, so that really quick is just how you reforge. Um, and you'll want to look kind of more into detail into what stats are more important for your particular class. Um, but strike through is definitely something for everybody that they should have and a lot of people don't so make sure that you do get that one and we might do a video a little bit later that kind of goes more in details with the stats okay so the other thing we wanted to talk about today then is leveling your weapons so if you guys did the pop timeline and I, I hope you took my advice and you did that from the earlier video is it helps you level up your ascensions and your XP. If you're level 100 and you need to get to 110, pop is the way to go. Um, it goes really fast and not a lot of the other zones will level you like that. Um, but at the very end of that signature line for pop is that in the Colosseum we had the same exact symbol and it was also an entrance to the Soulbound Chamber and there was an NPC standing right next to it. They had a little feather over their head and when you talk to them they gave you a quest. And that quest gave you an ability. I've got it here on my hotbar. It says Extract Planner Essence. So, and I'll get it out of my ability book to show you guys. Um, what this does is it lets you destroy weapons that you'll get from Planes of Prophecy or CD and extract energy from them. So, any low level weapons, maybe that you know, you have your really good ones, right? So, everyone should have their offhand from doing the signature line, the upgraded version that you got from the merchant. Okay. 
and what you'll notice on your weapon is that it has this little yellow sentence here and it tells you that it gains experience as planner essences are imbued into the item so each level it goes up it increases your AB, your potency, your resolve, your primary attributes by 5%. So all these little weapons that drop as you're doing your solos, your key quests, the PQs, the ones that aren't very good that you're not going to replace the, the much better weapons that you already have equipped, is you don't want to destroy these, you don't want to transmute them, you don't want to salvage them, you don't want to just sell them to a merchant, is you want to use this Extract Planner Essence. Okay, so I do that, it's going to give me a greater planner weapon essence, and I have some of these from doing Planes of Prophecy ones, the CD ones are the greater ones, and you can use both, the greater ones are just worth more, but you go into these chambers, either from here in Mirist, or from the Colosseum of Valor, because that one is still valid. But I can actually take those essences and add them to my weapon. So all I do is come in here, click on this cauldron, and it's going to give me the choice since I have both the planner and the grater. Well, let me add the grater, and it's going to let me do a single essence. If I had five essences, it will let me do five. If I had ten, it will let me do ten, and it's giving me a choice. Do I want to do it into my primary, my secondary, or my range? So all three of your weapons can be leveled at this point. Well, I'm going to do it into my secondary. Okay. And then I get the message that it's been increased, and it lets me know that my my weapon, which is level 5, that I've increased it to this number right here, and then this is how much I need to get to level 6. So I still have a little ways to go, and that's how it works. You can get to level 1 pretty fast, level 2 takes a little more essence, level 3 they want more, level 4 they want more, you know, and it just increases, you can go all the way up to level 10. But if you look at mine, mine is level 5 right now for my wep for my shield, my offhand, is when I started, and I don't remember the exact potency number, but my resolve for this was 90. At level 5, it's 112. So you want to do this. This is, this is something that will make the, the best weapons that you can find even better. Okay? So hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, we'll look at mercs and mounts next time, um, but have fun working on this.